Martial arts. The noble art of beating your opponent unarmed and holding respect and honour to the man or woman across the cage from you. Many forms of martial arts have touched many people, including this man. This is Stark. Stark once stumbled into a library and found a book on one of the greatest martial arts masters to ever live, Steven Seagal. Steven Seagal was an unbeaten martial arts master who used his powers for the good of mankind. Stark, upon hearing this, vouched that day that he would follow in the footsteps of this legendary warrior to become a great fighter by using the way of the fist. Stark, like many new recruited martial artists, were broken homeless. He thought of stealing it from the lesser fortunate, but Stark had promised to lead an honourable life. He would train his grit and determination by slaving away in the mines for money. The days were long and hard on his bones, ached as he slept outside, but finally he had enough cats from mining to purchase a shack. This would be his new dojo. After purchasing his new rundown martial arts school, he bought a research bench to discover the secrets of training in the way of the fist. While chilling out in the local bar, he was attacked by nearby bandits, but witnessed firsthand the barmaid kicking the piss out of their leader, all without a weapon. This inspired Stark as he sold all their shit straight back to her, thanking her for the display of lovely martial arts. Further advancing his research, he then started crafting a clothing bench to suit himself for the upcoming journey. After long days and nights without food or proper rest, the needlessly long crafting process was finished, and Stark donned his new martial art gear and posed in style. It is now time to kick some ass. With his new sick dreads covering his malnourished body, Stark set out to test his might on the nearby homeless population. Finding a group as skinny as him, he noticed that they were bandits, stealing from people poorer than them, being led by a less malnourished brigand holding a massive sabre. Stark marched towards the group and valiantly announced, You rapscallions are about to experience the fury of my martial arts. Prepare to be fucked by the long dong of justice. Being beaten to near death, Stark knew he had failed and gave in to his fate, knowing he could never be a true martial artist. But the gods had different plans for Stark. Waking up, he patched his wound and fled home. Upon reaching his so-called dojo, he threw away his clothes and fell to drinking his problems away. Surrounded by drunkards wasting away in a shit old bar, Stark found a sad comfort knowing he was with his people, but there was always a nagging thought in his head. Steven Seagal didn't give up. He not only was undefeated, but he was a superstar celebrity with amazing movies and a devilish personality. If Stark wanted to be a true martial artist, he would need to train. Stark didn't want to fuck around any longer. It was time for his own training montage. Set to Wii music. After shedding his malnourished body for a more filled out Hungarian peasant physique, Stark was once again ready to set out and fight. Spotting another group of would-be criminals, Stark would this time try to take on one at a time, boosting his chances. Stark could feel it this time, he was ready for greatness. For fuck's sake. Having his ass whipped by a single homeless man was worse than before. He thought of giving up, but Steven Seagal would never let a homeless man beat him up. He would train once again. After giving his flamingo arm time to heal, Stark set out once again, becoming a master or to die trying. After recovering from one too many ice beatings, Stark was awakened by a strange feeling. While asleep in a shack nearby his last battle, a hungry bandit had wandered in, seeking refuge. This was Stark's time to strike. If this won't guarantee his victory, nothing will. Epic fight scene coming up.
Stark had finally done it. He had won his first fight. There's a slight shame that his first win was the drug addicted homeless woman who hadn't eaten in days, but Stark was happy either way. Not having enough money to buy a victory meal, Stark returned to his dojo and donned his gi, hopeful for the future. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment what you want to see next or if you would like a part two of this video. Thanks, and remember to have a good one.